A total of $60,000 was invested for one year. Part of the amount earned simple interest at the rate of X percent per year, and the rest earned a simple interest at the rate of Y percent per year. If the total interest earned by the $60,000 for the year was $4,080, what is the value of X? So let's say that the amount that was invested at interest rate X was A. And so that means that the rest, 60,000 minus A, was invested in Y. And so the interest made by the amount invested at A is A times the percent written as a fraction, A times X over 100. The interest made invested at Y is Y over 100 times 60,000 minus A. And the sum of these two is the total interest. So right now what we have here is a single equation, one equation with three unknowns. And of course when we have three unknowns, the only way that you can solve that is if you have three equations. So statement number one, statement number one tells us that x equals 3y over 4. So by itself, now with this and the original, we have three unknowns and two equations. Well, two equations, three unknowns is not enough to solve, so this is insufficient. So now forget about statement number one. Statement number two tells us that the ratio of the amount of interest earned at X percent to the amount of interest earned at Y percent is 3 over 2. So the amount of interest earned at X percent over the amount of interest earned at Y percent equals 3 over 2. All right, so that's complicated and ugly, but that's just another equation. So with the original and with this, we still have only two equations for the three unknowns. So that is insufficient. Because both statements are insufficient, we consider what will happen if we combine them. Well, now if we combine them, what we have is three equations total. We have the original starting equation, we have the equation from statement one, and we have the equation from statement number two. Well, three equations, three unknowns, we would be able to solve for all variables. So it turns out when we combine the equations, we have sufficient information. So the statements are separately not sufficient, but combined they are sufficient. Answer choice C.